you could hear it. <laughs> And good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on Vacation Station TV. Yes, it's another day at the Fall Rod Run, the 2020 Fall Rod Run in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And um, even though there was some bad weather earlier today, obviously didn't dampen the spirits of these people. There's still lots of traffic, lots of cars, and a heck of a lot of fun. How are you? It's getting crowded Very every crowded. day. It took us forever. Luckily, I know the back alleyways that get in here because we'd still be at the traffic light at 321. The, the crowds are coming in, and they're coming in in droves. Um, we'll take a quick walk around, let you see what's going on, and uh, let you see how crowded it is, how crazy it is right after this. Ford. Here's a perfect, perfect. This is the Ford Slantback 37. Original headlights. Nice red. Everyone loves a nice red hot rod. And uh, this one you can have. It's uh, $36,500. Can't really see too much on the inside, but it's got all custom dash. Uh, obviously power steering, power brakes, automatic transmission, but nice looker. Definitely a nice looker. And it looks like a 55 Tennessee Antique Auto. And you've been here now, we've been here since, what, Monday, and this is one of the most popular cars that you see. There's tons and tons of Chevys from the 55, 56, 57, and that's probably the most traded car that they offer around here. Now, of course, no rod run would be complete without the obligatory rat rod. Ah, look at this. Now this, uh, you know what it reminds me a lot of? Look at that, there's a rat. There's a rat, that's why they call it a rat. <laughs> it looks a lot like, you remember Mad Max the movie? Mm -hmm. it, this is, remember they were driving this stuff with the chains across the car yeah. and, and a rat in the car and no pipes. I mean look, look you know that this is loud because here's the manifold, here are the pipes, and there is no muffler there at all. So this is going to be one That's loud Uber. Uber. It's an Uber. Now, could you imagine pulling up your mother-in-law's driveway, and this is an Uber. Very cool. Let's look at the inside. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Got license plates on the door. Look at that gear shift. I mean, this is so rat, and that's what makes it a rat rod. And of course, he's got the Trump flag. You've got to have that. Now, you know this person's an American. Hold that up. Keep it. Look at that. He's got the knife in the back window. Keep it there. Very popular this year are the rat rods. Unfortunately, I can't show you the engine because he's covered it up because of the rain. I don't blame him. But you get an idea what these are. This, this looks a little more comfortable than most rat rods. At least it's got seats. <laughs> and of course, the wooden top. You gotta have the wooden, woody top on it. Nice looking. Isn't it cute? Yeah? I mean, look at that. What does that one say? Bennett's. Bennett's Garage. This is an old favorite. It's always here. This show, this car is always here. Uh, it's a truck, but it's it's neat to look at. It's kind of a rat truck. Not a rat rod, but a rat truck. Uh, I'm sure it's noisy. I'm sure the engine sounds great, and it just looks ratty, but it's obviously kind of neat looking. This is what's happening at the 2020 Fall Rod Run. And if you checked out our videos yesterday, we did a special video on... The 
Trump store. The Trump store, right there. Mm -hmm. Now, if you haven't been in there, and, and I don't really care what affiliation you have, go in the store. Check it out, it's fun. You meet a lot of cool people and a lot of really strange stuff in there. But check it out, the Trump store in Pigeon Forge. Nowhere else would you find that. Coming up on a couple more rods. I think what's happened is a lot of uh, these guys, they went for shelter and I think they'll be back because uh, they're going to be missing out on a really good show. Purple for sure. Let's check out the inside. I don't know if I can, well you can't open the door, remember you'll go to the, you'll go to the Arabs. 51 Chevy all custom, power steering, AC leather, power seats, Ooh, power windows. Very nice. Can't really see too much, but very nicely done. Nice pink job. Don't know the price on it. I can't give you that. Look at that. That's so classic of a rod. That's so 50s of the rod with the fire going down the side, the Plymouth. Look at that, with the gangster white walls. I mean, it, this is what hot rods are all about. And then of course, uh, Herbie. Herbie's always here. Herbie always makes his appearance here. Everybody gets a picture of Herbie. Herbie's like a, a, a regular staple here at the rod runs. A lot of people hanging out at that Trump store. <laughs> we had a great interview over there. Yeah. What, what do you call that? Uh, that well, we're going to go over wagon? and find out. No, that's okay. another hot rod. Not even close to a Volkswagen. Kind of bubbly like one. Do check out our video of the Trump store. We've already got hundreds of hits on it. Oh, by the way, I don't know. Uh, you probably, I didn't. Stop! <laughs> She runs away from the camera. Stop it. You're going to stay with the camera. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Not too loud. Not too loud. If there wasn't some jerk in a Mitsubishi in front of them, <laughs> if they thought there. we were looking at them. It's like, get out of the way, you your little rice burner. Get out of the way. People are really ready. They have events t-shirts back there. There's t-shirts everywhere here. And, and I advise, get, get these shirts. They're all over the place. They got some cool shirts. And some, do, do your price shopping, because some of them charge a lot of money and some of them don't charge a lot of money. Hello. Are you here for the rod run? Yes. What do you think? We love it. You love it? Yes. Uh, how long have you been here? Oh, since, since Monday. Yeah. Oh, so you've uh -huh. been here early. Yeah. So you know, there's a lot of cars that are coming and going. They keep coming yeah. and going. That uh, kind of the rain gets them. But yeah. the rain is, that's it. This is it. It's going to clear up. And it's going to be football weather beginning tonight. <laughs> how long are you down for? Uh, Saturday. And then that's it. Yeah. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go over and see what this one is. I kind of figured. Look at that. It's got a it's got a Packard front end. But I don't, I, it could be a Packard. It says Henny, but I uh, I don't know about that. Nice looking, big car. Probably, if I was guessing, it's probably got a, a, a flat 12, inline 12 cylinder engine in there. Big car. What I was trying to tell you before is that uh, usually in the morning I get up and I get my coffee, sit outside, and to check out our, our site, see what's going on. We're rapidly approaching, as we speak, 20,000 views, and it was only 11,000 just the other day.
Now, if this not considered a rod, but if this pulled up behind you, you'd swear that you were being pulled over. Why? You'd swear. Oh, because it's a it's a, obviously an interceptor. It, this is a cop car. Oh. Charger RT, ninety-one thousand miles. It's got the lights on it. This is the way to drive around Pigeon Forge. It's got a Hemi, everything works, sale or trade, bars in the window, <coughs> excuse me, lights on the top. 11,000 bucks. Yeah, the bad guys. And that person's a truck man. She's always pulling me out of the way of traffic. And, and She's scared I'm going to get run over. One thing that's going to happen, nobody is going to hit you. They hit you, what's going to happen is they're going to get sued. So they're not going to hit you. you got to remember that. Hey, look at that. Uh... There's another rat rod. <laughs> oh. Here's another rotter. This needs some work. If you like a project, this is a perfect project car. It's a 46 Chevy truck. Camaro front end, it's got a, a 327 V8. It, it clearly needs a lot of work, but this is a, a good project car. If you're looking for a project car, and it's not any way, shape, or form ready for any show. But that's what these shows are all about. Roadrunner, you don't see many Roadrunners around. 69 Roadrunner. Got it looking good. I'm sure it's mostly original the way it looks. Yep. Mostly original except for the shifter. Shift the radio's real. Dashboard's original. You just change the stick on it. It's got the original pedals and stuff. Nice looking. Nice looking. You don't see many of these around, but they are almost always orange. It's, it's just the way they are. Here's a good project truck. Yeah. <laughs> Guess again. <laughs> There's nothing in it. <laughs> There's no engine. So how do they get in there? They tow it, but this is... Uh, it needs a complete restoration. There's... Uh, Look there's, at the rust, though. You yeah. know, it's, well, it's not just the rust. Have, it doesn't have any windshield. Yeah, the, you really have to spend a lot of money. Oh, you got to spend a fortune. There's, the bed is obviously rotted out. There's look. There's no bed. You're already seeing the uh, the rear axle springs are all gone and stuff. But uh, the yep. price it's a little, little outrageous. You got you know that's why you come here to bargain with these guys. Thirty five coupe. Here's a real project car for you guys. Uh, the floorboards are gone. You can get these floorboards at Hershey, Pennsylvania and Carlisle. I bought mine. When I had my 38 Coupe, I got new floorboards. Uh, and, and they just, they unbolt and you put new ones in. Okay, so if you are going to customize that, are you going to get rid of that rut? Yeah, you got to get rid of everything. You got you to gotta gut it. You got it and you sandblast the whole car. You send it to your neighborhood sandblaster. And they'll take all this this rust off there. They sandblast, and then you get primed and ready to go. And what does this guy want? Let's see. He only wants sixty-five hundred bucks. Still a little high on this stuff because this is all. <coughs> this stuff can't be used. This stuff can't be used. <coughs> You'll need new headlights, new new everything, new grill. It's a Pontiac, but um, it's uh these are what they call barn finds. You find them in barns, out back of barns and stuff. Mm -hmm. And what's happening is little by little, there's no more barn finds. All my cars were found, you know, like either in garages in or... Garage. Except my 38 Coupe was in a barn in Shenango County, mm -hmm. upstate New York. I was hunting with my, my dad and my brother-in-law. And they, um, I just was walking. I wasn't shooting anymore. And I was walking. There was a barn that just was there. And, and the nosy person I am, um, I wiped the window. I looked in and the whole garage was full of antique cars. He had a, a Model T, a beautiful Model T Depot hack, a 1923 Model uh, T Depot hack, which was 
pristine. It was in beautiful shape, but I'm not into the Model T's. But right behind the Model T was a 1938 Master Deluxe two-door coupe, uh, the business coupe, that had the original fender skirts on it, the original uh, sun visor over the front, and even on the front of the bumper was the uh, Flying A insignia that bolted on the license plate. I banged on that guy's door so fast. Mr. Menard. Menard's Junkyard. I'll never forget that. What do you call that uh, black? Another hot rod. <laughs> You're going to see a lot of hot rods. You're going to see a lot of them here. As you can see, the place is packed. I'm glad I caught well, that I vet. See, well, I could see that, you know, you could get, you could get um, a t-shirt stand and it started a business for oh, a sure. week or two. You make a lot of money on these t-shirts. Cash talks, this guy says. 51 Ford Victoria. See, this is what my, I was talking about, the sun visor. My 38 Coupe and my 49 Oldsmobile had. This is an option that you had to buy extra from the dealer. Mine came with it in the fender skirts, the original fender skirts, but this is a much older car, a much newer car. Why did they, why, why did they say cash talks? Money talks, BS walks. That's the, <laughs> that's the phrase. A lot of, you know, there's a lot of these guys. Yeah, I remember when I had that car, you know, and they don't want to do that. They want to, they want to sell this. Guy wants to make some money and get out of here. But uh, I'm sure you run through a thousand, they call them tire kickers. And uh, there's a lot of them. You know, he, want, he wants to sell the car. I don't blame him. This was an extra. He added uh, this on the back would have been extra. You don't see them much. It's in really nice shape. Nice car. Nice shape. Definitely original. Look at that. Even the uh, blanket holders, the straps, the blanket holders. Original radio, original gauges. Nice car. Mostly original. Look at that. 19.5. Not too bad. So much to offer here at the 2020 Fall Rod Run in Pigeon Forge. Now these guys will be out here soon. You see the sun shining off the cars. They'll be uncovering their engines and uh, you'll be able to see what they've got. The rain is, is just about all over. So you can see the sun shining now. Sally has moved on out. She knows better than mess with Pigeon Forge. Uh-oh, I feel it. What time could it possibly be? It's time for Super Shout Super Out. Shout out. <laughs> Stupid noise. Where does that come from? Where does that noise come from? Now, when you hear that sound, that silly sound, and see that crazy raccoon that's over there, that's your cue to make sure that you write down or pause the video and check out the people that we put up on there. The shout outs are for not only for fun and have good laugh, but it's also so that we promote the people that have subscribed to us and hopefully they'll subscribe to you. So all you have to do is go to their site check out some of their videos, compliment their videos, maybe you'll like them, and then become a subscriber. And that's how we make YouTube a so much better place. And make sure too that they check out the shortcuts to Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. Yeah, if you're coming, you're gonna see this video today on Thursday. Uh, I'll make it uh, in real, as best real time as I can. Go to our shortcut video because you'll avoid this. If you don't, and you want, to, you want to do what those people are doing? Or you want to do what these people are doing? Don't follow our shortcuts. Follow our shortcuts, you'll be already here. It'll get you right into the heart of Pigeon Forge. And you'll avoid all the lights, all the traffic, all the aggravation that sometimes people get.
You guys all having fun? Yeah, we're having a great time. When did you get here? About an hour ago. Well, from where? Virginia, I mean, yeah, Virginia. You forgot the state already. Yeah. <laughs> There's not a lot of beer in the back I see there. <laughs> and you're here for the duration of the uh, run? Yes, yeah. Sir. Very good, very good. You guys have a good time? All right. Stay out of the traffic as best as you can. That's right. Nothing I can do about it. Yeah. Y'all take it easy. Very good. Vacation Station TV. You'll see yourself on it. Now, while you're here at the uh, 2020 Fall Rod Run, and let's say, you know, you've seen enough cars for a little while and you got a bunch of kids, a bunch of munchkins, this is an excellent place to come. In fact, if you go to Vacation Station TV and go down our list, you'll see that I did a video on Extreme Racing, the fastest go-kart track in Pigeon Forge. These cars go 40 plus miles an hour, go-karts. 40 miles an hour and, and Marie said she can't wait to get on one. <laughs> Didn't you say that? No. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff? Jeff. <laughs> that's that's the mother Jeff voice that I'm close to being ninja on. <laughs>